some of you wanted to see uh, uh, the inside of one of these motors a bit of a takedown I'm not an expert in these motors I've only I only really know what I've read online and what I've seen and from what I've learned from from chatting to various sort of factories so um, um, here we go um, if I'm sort of call anything that I shouldn't have called it if I'm if I get it wrong just let me know in the comments uh, first thing I would normally do is remove the the brushes on both sides take out the springs then um, uncoil the copper wire here pull them out like that and you can see there you go you know always check them as well um, these have obviously been from the factory from uh, from what the guy was telling me when they make one of these motors they always run it for a certain amount of time just to test it make sure it make sure there's no faults in the wire etc um, again you got completely the the same on the other side on here there we go there's our other one and on this particular type of motor you've got two you've got the two cross Phillips head uh, screws, so let's, let's take these out. Again, another little little difference I, I noticed on these motors. You've got a nice coloured, coloured little posts here, um, which is quite a nice little touch. There you go. There's the. Is the inside of the of what they call the end bell. Sometimes they call it the cap. Um, little bearing here. I've never never actually measured these, and quite often I get a lot of people asking asking about them, what size they are. So so uh, here we go. Uh, let's do that. There. there we go. Okay, there's that. And there's two of these. You'll see. So you have one in the top. A few shims here. Although they aren't shims. I thought they were shims, but uh, it's just it's just like a plastic on top. You can see where it's been running slightly. You can see it's slightly, slightly, slightly worn. The, the, commutator at the top here and like like with all of these um these un these screw end bells you get you get a plate inside here and it's always it's always a little bit tricky to get out so it's, uh, just just move it from side to side and then there you go, it pops out Now one thing I noticed with this one, this is actually this is actually steel. This uh, this bar here, whereas whereas most of the other ones I've come across have all been aluminium. Um, anyway, again, just push it down hard, and then pop. <laughs> out it comes. And and that's the uh, the armature or the core, um, the wiring around it. And there we go. If I get in close enough, you can see you can see the where it catches on here. And, and then it failed. Some some of the motors that you might have seen, you know, you'll see that maybe some of the wires have come loose, um, or maybe from up here, maybe one of these have snapped off or. Just this has become really worn and gunked up. You can see I've uh, got a little bit of carbon on there. Um, but um, yeah, you can always clean these as well. There's no, there's no, you know, if it gets to a point, give them a clean. And uh, and that's it, I think. What we got here? Uh, here we go. You got the, you got the, uh, got the two, the two magnets here. Um, opposed to each other and 
you got the the second bearing in there and, and that's it there's not much not much really to it not much to it at all oh one last thing I nearly forgot um, with all of these motors there's um there's also an SHS pinion with it as well so there we go one of these little little pinions okay